so so guys today we are choosing another series in fifa we're choosing aston villa aston villa was formed by some cricketers in 1874 they won the FA Cup in 1897, they won the Champions League in 1982, defeating Bayern in the final played in Rotterdam. So guys, this is Aston Villa Unai Emre rebuild. The club is worth almost 5 billion. Is it 5 billion or 500 million? And uh, the transfer budget is 48 million and we are going to be playing at Villa Park. Hopefully this is a successful se series as the last one didn't end well with uh, St. Etienne. So guys, the team we are working with is this one, decent team, Ings, Watkins, a couple of players over 80, Martinez over, uh, Martinez is 84, Denia is, Denia is 83, and some couple of other players on the sub bench are actually 80s as well, so good, decent team, hopefully we can actually uh, get the better of them, Ashley Young's there, Callum Chambers, this guy's going to be one of a future star so i think we need to get some players in the midfield and a good striker a center back that can pair up with mings good goalkeeper we already have so three players we need to sign first of all we need to get rid of players that we are not going to be using let's go and get rid of the players that we're not going to be using this season at all so add this guy to the list add him to the list as well add him to the list so guys i've added some players to the list in order to sell them and get some money to invest in better players so i'm going to be simulating one month and see how many players have been sold so guys we've gathered we managed to gather four and seven mil seven million from the tournament we played so let's see who we can sign this uh, transfer window so this guy looks decent. Monaco is Dutch. So let's approach Monaco for this young man. 22 year old. 20 year old actually. Let's see what the asking price is. I'm just going to offer 6 million. Hopefully Monaco agree. Oh, decline the offer. We're going for this Honduras international currently playing for Bordeaux. We're gonna have to offer him. Oh, he's currently on loan, so he's not available. There are some great young players pl currently playing in the uh, league. Uh, Karim Ademyami. How much is he gonna be worth? So we just approach Dortmund for him. Hopefully, we can. Uh, give the affordable fee 15 million would be good let's see if they agree oh yes it's reasonable so the two clubs have agreed the fee for Adiyami so now to the personal term hopefully the player is at Willow Park by the end of the transfer window and yes we have managed to sign this star man for the future so one signing in let's see if we can get more players he's another striker that is really looking sharp for the future cristiano ronaldo still a free agent not going to be going for him this time around as too many times i have gone for ronaldo Ooh, Ward Prowse is available. So if we can get this guy's a perfect free kick taker, 26 million. I'm happy to pay 30 for this guy. He's fantastic. He's got the ability. Not quite sure why Southgate didn't pick him for the uh, World Cup. A big miss for uh, Southgate in indeed. So alternative Ward Prowse. We want 22 million with Douglas Lewis. Yes, we can accept that. So he's going for 22 million. Now to the personal terms. Hopefully he's a Villa player by the end of the day. 
Yes, he is a Villa player. He's coming to Villa Park. Let's see what the team looks like. Jean Mata is available as well. Oh, he's this Frenchman. Let's see if we can go for this guy, Benjamin Bargaud. He looks good for the future. Let's offer 9 million to the French team. Oh, they have refused. So this guy was worth more. Sigurdsson, 12 million. 79 rated. This guy currently playing for uh, Leipzig. So as a new manager at Willow Park, I'm going for the big names. In European football, hopefully we can land a few. So 20 million for this guy. If we can get him in. Oh, declined. And we have approached a player from uh, Hoffenheim. And the agreement has gone through between the two clubs. He looks like a future star. Bear Boo, his name is currently playing for Hoffenheim. Let's do the personal or we cannot allow this offer to go through if we have not got the means to sign this player. We've only got 4 million in the budget. Let's start the season and see where we are. At. First of all, we need to go and check the squad. So the squad looks like this, Ollie Watkins, but we need to put in the new strikers, Adami. So a bit of improve improvement in the Aston Villa squad under Unai Emery. He's a ward pros, he's a fantastic free kick taker. Hopefully he can score a few from the free kick. So now I'm gonna be simulating the season all the way to mid-January and see how we are doing. So the simulation starts, the season starts, a win at uh, uh, Watford, a home game against Newcastle ended in defeat. Oh, we are into the next round of the Carabao Cup. So the simulation towards January has begun. So two wins out of three in the first three games. A great one, a big one against Chelsea. Oh, we just lost 2-1 at Stamford Bridge. So guys, we are in the January and the transfer window is open. We've got a couple of games. Uh, in the cup, uh, I think this is the FA Cup game against Newcastle, and a couple of uh, wins against the big teams like Liverpool. So let's see where we are in the Premier League. So in the Prem, this is the Carabao Cup. So in the Premier League, Aston Villa sitting sixth, four points behind Spurs and five behind Manchester United. Arsenal struggling in 12th position. Surprisingly, currently the leaders of the Premier League, Brentford, rock bottom with only seven points, seven draws, no wins. Uh, leaders are Manchester City. They are four points ahead of Chelsea and eight ahead of Liverpool. So this is the first half of the season done under uh, with Aston Villa under Un Unai Emery. So let's check the player stats. So in the Premier League, the top goal scorer is Diaz. Oh, so sorry, the top red card receiver is Diaz. Then everyone else has just got one. So the top goal scorer is Aubameyang, Vardy number uh, two, just a, point, a goal behind him. Top goal scorer for Aston Villa is Oli Watkins. He scored seven goals in 20 matches, so he has been the best player for Aston Villa. And Son is the highest assist 
Um, De Bruyne 7, Kane on 7. Highest for us is um, McGinn, Scott McGinn. So this is first the first half of the season done. Hopefully we can improve our league standing for Aston Villa. So guys, we are in the in May towards the end of the season. Looks like we've got a FA Cup semi-final against Liverpool. So that is a big game. FA Cup is the must win for Aston Villa in order to proceed into the into the European football for next season. So Liverpool, here we come. Actually, it's a final. Surprisingly, Aston Villa have reached the final. Let's see who they beat on the ways. In the semi-final, they beat Crystal Palace. Oh, fantastic. So they are in the final, which is going to be played in the table. They are struggling. Let's see what position Aston Villa are in the table of the Premier League. They are 7 and 10 points behind Spurs with two games remaining. We are not going to catch them. So if we can win this uh, FA Cup, we can actually get into Europa League for next season. So guys, the FA Cup final kicks off between Aston Villa and Liverpool. Two teams wearing the similar colour of shirts. Not quite sure how the players are going to recognise their teammates, but anyway, the FA Cup final is underway. Well, that's a really good authoritative tackle. Throw in here. Henderson. Salah. Alexander Arnold. So guys, we are into the second season with the Aston Villa. Looks like Coutinho has left the club. I can't see him anywhere in the team, so I think he has left the club on free transfer. So we'll have to bring in a replacement for him. We've got 65 million for qualifying into the into the Europa League. I think we are in Europa League, so we'll just have to search for players and improve them. So guys, we're gonna have to uh, go back to Jonathan David, who's currently playing at Lille. Our last bid for 20 million last season got rejected. Now we will be offered them, offering them 26 million. Hopefully they accept it this time. Oh, still they have not accepted the bid for 26 million. This player must be some of one of a kind. And guys, our bid for Baudu for 25 million has been accepted by Monaco. Now to personal terms, hopefully we can sign this. Uh, flying Dutchman for his his age is 21 years old so 25 million bid has been accepted now to the personal terms hopefully we can keep him on long long term so four years uh, we have offered him hopefully he can sign he wants 32,000 per week and that's it he is an Aston Villa player he is in uh, Villa Park so hopefully he is going to be in the squad for the community shield against Manchester City so guys, we are now approaching Everton for Alan for 15 million. The asking price we are going to offer them 17 million. Hopefully they agree, and this guy can be a Aston Villa player in matter of an hour. Oh yes, so Everton has agreed. Now to personal terms, hopefully the Brazilian signs for Aston Villa before the uh, Community Shield match against Manchester City, so we can include him in the squad. And yes, he has accepted the 80,000 per week wage and he is an Everton player. So now let's go back to the squad and see where it's a re uh, improvement is required. Not too many positions. You've actually improved the squad. So Alan's is 81, so we can replace him with uh, Nakamba who's 76 so a bit of an imp improvement in the squad so hopefully we can win the Europa League or the Premier League this season after winning the FA Cup in the previous season beating Liverpool in the final so we've only got 23 million left let's see let's sim the match and 
zoom over the way to January transfer window and where we can then try signing more players. Oh, we've actually lost the uh, community shield against Manchester City, but anyways, not a big issue, but we'll have to simulate to January and see where we're at. So first game is against Liverpool at Anfield, who we beat in the FA Cup in the last season. Oh, not a start. We wanted a 3-2 defeat at Anfield, home to against Leicester. <coughs> so guys we are in January and hopefully looking at the results we are in top 6 of the table and actually we are 7 so not too far off I expected in somewhere in 6th and 7th position so with 34 points 3 behind Manchester City who are struggling in 5th position Man uh, Liverpool Leading the race at 48 points, Spurs five point, 3 points behind them, Arsenal in top 3 after being in 12th position last season. Chelsea nowhere to be seen, they are in the 9th position with 33 points, rock bottom, Brighton with 10 points in West Brom and Burnley battling against Sheffield United. So, a decent start in the first half of the season, Let, let's look at the stats of the players. Top goal scorer in the Premier League is Adama Traore, Son, Salah and highest goal scorer for Aston Villa is Danny Ings with 8 goals. So we need a striker that can get us 25 goals plus in order to win the league. So a bit of improvement done in the financial area. So if we can win a big trophy like Europa League or the Premier League that will be a big improvement, a step forward for the club. So now we're going to approach a striker and Bolo currently playing as St. Etienne. He's a striker that can get us goals. So hopefully if we can get him in, he'll be a big addition to the squad up front. So Swiss International scored in the World Cup. Not quite sure how many he's gonna score for Aston Villa. Let's offer them 30 million. Hopefully they agree. Oh yes, they have agreed. 30 million for Mbolo, the Swiss international, played at the World Cup, scored a goal, I think just one goal, but anyway. Now to his personal wages, hopefully he can agree four year contract. Oh, well, looks like yes, he is coming into Villa Park. He's a striker that we were looking for. Hopefully he's a good addition to the squad and finish the season on a high. So guys, this is the team of Aston Villa going into the second half of the season. A couple of players, well a lot of players above 80. Just a couple below 80. So we need to get these players like Mbolo and Chambers above 80 in order to fight for the title or the Champions League spot for next season. We've lost out on Coutinho and uh, Danny Minks. So we need a good centre back at uh, the start of next season. So guys, with three games, with four games to go, Aston Villa are three points behind uh, in fourth position. Manchester City, Liverpool are just a point ahead. Manchester United, Tottenham losing ground after the defeat in the previous games. Arsenal struggling in sixth. Rock bottom West Brom, three, four points behind Burnley with four games to go. So we are in the FA Cup final against uh, Tottenham Hotspur. Hopefully if we can beat them, we can go into the next round. Hopefully if we can beat them, we can win the second trophy of the series with Aston Villa. Under Una Emery. <clears throat> so guys with two games remaining we are in the FA Cup final against Tottenham Hotspur hopefully we can beat them against uh, the arch rivals of Arsenal in the North London uh, in, in London so 
down in the Premier League Aston Villa currently sitting fifth two points behind Manchester City five behind Spurs we are not going to finish sixth but we'll have to win if you want to finish fifth so some easy games for Spurs and Manchester City in the upcoming week so now the FA Cup final against Tottenham Hotspur and the contest begins so guys the FA Cup final kicks off against uh, against uh, Tottenham Hotspur the man and the team from North London who are currently sitting third in the table chance for Aston Villa great clearance by the Tottenham defender Romero Lucas so if we were if Aston Villa were to win the FA Cup again this is going to be the second FA Cup in a row hopefully this do happen and also we want to win we want to win our league matches in order to finish fourth and get the qualification of the Champions League our run for Europa League were ended uh, by severe poor performances especially at Villa Park losing 4-2 conceded four away goals so hopefully next season we get into the Champions League and improve the squad the ball lost here in its tracks and you wouldn't be surprised if there's a card coming out here Spurs to make a personnel switch now a short pass this could be interesting Ings is this the moment he must finish and denied by the post and keeper's ball in the end. Well, look at the relief out there. That looked a certain goal, didn't it? Terrific block. Well, visionary passing. Oh, terrific save from the keeper. Well, that's just a wonderful save. How did he stop that? And there's the delivery. It comes to absolutely nothing. And well, he's got past his man. Ings, well high and more than a bit helpful. And we have all by Premier League and on the back of that particular challenge, will the referee let the matter rest there? Well he's gone into the book. Well he was late and he deserved a booking for that. Esri Consa. And they continue to advance, and a lot of options here. Oh, how on earth has he missed that? What a glorious opportunity. Well, the flag's gone up, and he was offside, but he didn't know that when he took his shot. Lamar. Kane. Got himself forward pretty well here, Harry Kane. Harry Kane! Oh, that's textbook goalkeeping. Embolo. The super tackle and they've won possession. And we very much hope you'll join us for more live Premier League action on EA TV. It's Aston Villa facing Wolves. Well, Derek, I'm really looking forward to it. Always a great atmosphere in that stadium and it should be an entertaining match. A Spurs free kick is going to be. Well, not deemed to be a bookable offence, but still it probably entered the referee's mind. It might still be problematic. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Can they keep it going? He's in here. It has to be, surely. Well, a piece of quick thinking by the keeper. Well, that's great goalkeeping. He read it so well, didn't he? Lucas. A oh, super piece of play. The referee says penalty, and maybe a late glimmer of hope for them. And on the back of that decision, now it's a caution. And he slots it home with confidence. Well, when you see this again, the goalkeeper has to do a lot better. It's a penalty straight down the middle. How he doesn't save it, I just don't know. And the ball is moving again. Anyone's guess how this is going to finish. 2-1 currently. Watkins. Or Kraus. Two minutes of stoppage time coming up. Sonson. 
And look at Dinia. A real opening now. And the keeper has possession of it. And there goes the final whistle. The cup issue is settled. A story of one side celebrating and the other distraught. And guys, Aston Villa have won the second FA Cup in two well, years. Last season, United, last season beating Manchester United and last season beating Liverpool. This season beating Tottenham Hotspur. 2-1, Harry Kane with a late penalty, but Aston Villa see it off very comfortably, and that's the FA Cup in the bag, second trophy in second season, hopefully in the next season we can grab, grab a well, big is fish like the Premier League or the what Champions League. So guys, the second season has just finished. We finished fifth, two points behind Manchester City. Manchester United managing to win the title, beating Spurs by a point. And in the Conference League, Napoli beat Frankfurt. Europa League, Wolfsburg beat Sevilla. And in the Champions League, PSG beating Porto to win the final. And let's check the player stats in the Premier League top goal scorer Son scored 23 four goals behind him with Aston Villa Ollie Watkins what a season he's had and the assist Son was top goal scorer Fabinho was second for Liverpool Arsenal Kostic was third with eight assist of the season so that's it guys so I'm gonna have to go into the next season and hope for better trophies we have gone We've gone on to win two FA Cups in two seasons. That's two trophies in the bag. But we won the Premier League or the Europa League, the big one. So, guys, we are into the third season with Aston Villa. And this is our team. We, we've got 152 million to spend this time around. Hopefully, that 100 and 52 million is well spent on good players. So let's see who is up for sale in the markets. There is our all important 152 million pounds. So we are going to go for a big player. Premier Rick Aubameyang, 34 years of age. Jovic, he's 83. Let's go for him. Currently playing, uh, currently a free agent. So good time to sign him for free. Guys, Jovic is here. He's at Villa Park and he's an Aston Villa player now. So we've got the striker we wanted. Now we're going for a midfielder who can hold the ball. So guys, we are approaching Manchester United for Christian Eriksen, 31 year old, worth 21 million. We will offer them 23 and grab the guy. Oh, so they wanted a player as well. So 11 million and a player for Christian Eriksen. Deal good. And guys, Christian Eriksson is an Aston Villa player. Another great signing to start the season with. So now big money to be spent from Aston Villa. Going for Kim Pembe. Worth 63 million, 87 overall. Hopefully PSG agree the offer. Let's offer 70 million. Oh yes, so they have accepted and Kim Pembe is coming to Villa Park for his personal terms to agree and then he can be a Villa player. Oh, the funny thing is we don't have a goalkeeper on the bench so we need to sign a goalkeeper and uh, that'll be the end of the transfer window for us. So this guy, Mbolo is good, Danny Ings can replace Jovic so the team does actually look very decent all 80 plus at the back and apart from Mbolo everyone is actually 80 plus so we do have a uh, uh, Christian Eriksen on the bench so let's see if we can put him in instead of Bailey so yes so apart from Mbolo everyone is 80 plus so this is a decent team And guys, we have cut the uh, transfer window with the goalkeeper signing from PSG. He is, I think, 83 overall. So now let's do a final check on our team. 
and looks decent for the Premier League. Hopefully we win the Europa League or the Premier League this season. So I'm going to be taking off McGinn. Sorry, Ramsey I take off. And put the goalkeeper on sub bench. So this is the team going into the season. Hopefully we do end up winning a big trophy. So guys, we are midway through the season with the looks of the simulation. We are in top two, I reckon, or even top three. So let's see the table. Actually, we are fourth, four points behind, three points behind Manchester City, one point behind Spurs and Liverpool. So we are very much in shout of the Premier League, a four horse race for the first time in a long, long time in the Premier League. So now in the Carabao Cup we are also in there so fourth in the league this is the conference league this is the Europa League we are playing Olympic Lyonnais and in the Champions League Atletico Madrid Juventus Liverpool Borussia Dortmund Manchester United PSG Spurs Real Madrid So this is the Carabao Cup semi-finals. Chelsea, Aston Villa, 1-1 one, one on aggregate. Arsenal leading Crystal Palace in the the other tie. So guys, we have actually done well in the first half of the season. Hopefully we can continue towards the second half. Alan Watkins. And there goes the final whistle. The cup issue is settled. A story of one side celebrating and the other distraught. Memories are being made. Well, just look at those scenes down there, Derek. What a contrast of emotions. Brilliant for the winners, despair for the losers. But overall, the right team won today. Yeah, you can see what it means to this tight-knit team. Real solidarity. Well, this is special for everybody at the club. What a great moment for any young player. And this is what you... So guys, Aston Villa have won the uh, Carabao Cup beating Arsenal 1-0, so the cup goes to Villa Park. So now we have to focus on the Premier League as we are out of Europa League with 26 games played. Aston Villa are a game in hand and four points behind Liverpool. So we'll have to focus on this as we are out of the Europa League, losing out to Lyon. I think it was 5-3 three, three on aggregate. So guys, we are in the last two games of the season. Two hard games away at Chelsea and home to Manchester United. So very tough ending to the season, although we are top of the table. With two games remaining, Aston Villa have pulled it off. Unless Liverpool bottle the uh, uh, the remaining game they have. They've got a game in hand against Nottingham Forest. Oh, they've got a game in hand against Bournemouth. So... Hopefully, they do drop out on points and this would be a great season to cap it off for Aston Villa as they are going to do the double under Unai Emery for the first time in three seasons. So guys, we are into the fourth season with Aston Villa and we've only got one more season after this in order to win the premier league we've got 200 million to spend so we can actually go for go all out and spend big and win the league hopefully this season after so many seasons of trying and failing last season we were very close we just lost the league by two points but hopefully this time we can actually do it Nathan Ake is available at 81. Oh, this guy, a Frenchman, is left back. He's 83, so he's got a chance. 
Michael Keane. And we are signing Teo Hernandez from Chelsea at 72 million transfer fee. Hopefully he agrees the personal terms and he could be an important figure in Aston Villa squad for the coming seasons. And yes, Teo Hernandez is here. He's at Villa Park. So we've got a defender. Now to the midfielder. Let's see. Let's go to League A. Leon midfielder. Oh, we are trying to bring back Matthew Ganduzi to the Premier League. He's worth 64 million. We're going to offer 70 million to Leon. Hopefully, he can come in and improve the squad. And this season, we have to win the league as this is gone on for too long last season we lost out on a few points so 106 million they wanted and they've got it we haven't got the money to splash this season as we are in the champions league and yes Matthew Genduzzi is in Premier League. He's an Aston Villa player now. So we're going for a straight swap with Mbolo and uh, Hala from Borussia Dortmund and 3 million on top. Looks like a good deal. Hopefully he's, he can bring in some more goals than Mbolo did. Mbolo had a great career. He was a great signing, but time to move on, I guess. And guys, we managed to sign this Borussia Dortmund star man. He's at Willow Park. And we've got a team to beat this season. And that's Liverpool to the title. So this is the squad. We've got Harla up front. Hernandez in centre back replacing Conser. Guindosi is going to be replacing uh, Alan in the center of the park. So guys, we are in May and three, four games remaining. We are a point behind Liverpool and Liverpool and having a game in hand. So this is the time we can seal the title, hopefully with a win. And we are going to be playing. Let's see who are we actually playing with the game in hand. Uh, we are playing Crystal Palace, so hopefully if we can beat Crystal Palace, the title is ours. And guys, with one game remaining, we are three points ahead of Chelsea. Liverpool losing ground, dropping down to fourth position with seven points. The gap with Aston Villa and Liverpool. So last game of the season is a must win against Manchester United. And then we can seal the title. So guys, the season has ended and 38 games played by everyone and Aston Villa have won the title for the first time in over two decades and first time in the Premier League history beating Manchester City with two points, three points, the gap between Liverpool, uh, between Chelsea, Chelsea and Aston Villa. The initial title race was between Aston Villa and Liverpool. They're losing the last three games, poor ending to the Liverpool season and Aston Villa have finally won the Premier League. Good luck. And thanks for watching this series with Aston Villa. Unai Emery has finally finally taken Aston Villa to all the way to the top of the English division. So guys, thank you for watching. So do subscribe to my channel. You'll get more FIFA content in the future. And I'll be uploading some more crazy rebuilds and reunions between players. So hopefully you like my videos and thanks for watching. Goodbye.